So I'm pretty excited today. We have a fun shoot planned. Uh, the best photography shoots are those where you can just show up in a parking lot and you have plenty of opportunities and that's what we have today. It's spring, my favorite season. We have a very special guest today. Ah, Aspen's joining us today. We're gonna go find some dogwoods. You know, not once did I ever think in my photographic career that this would be me, but wouldn't change it for the world. So we're just like in this grove of dogwoods right here. Aspen actually found her own dogwood branch that she's playing with. Uh, one of the things I love about spring and dogwoods in general is just like how different they are than everything else around them. The green foliage, they're this, this stark white. Whoa, whoa. Um, and it's just really fun to photograph those because of that aspect. Now, I think the challenge with dogwoods is secluding them enough to where you can see that they're dogwoods, but also not, I don't know, they're kind of tough to photograph because they are kind of wispy and um, delicate, but at the same time, you do get some structure that's kind of like all around us right here. The only problem is that what I'm dealing with right here is that they're kind of in a cluster and it's the only ones that are around. So I'm trying to look for a way to photograph the branches that are in full bloom, but also get a background that secludes them. And it may just be like a far off shot. You know, all I'm using today is a 70 to 200. That's all I brought out here with me. And, um, you know, maybe we can kind of seclude these out. And if not, you know, maybe it's just zooming in and having a kind of blurred background against the grass that's behind it because the grass is really green right now as well so that might be an option too but i think the main thing is that when you get spring blooms like this like look at how full these are aspen show them it's just like you have to get out and photograph something that 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 is that peak bloom and that beautiful and i saw these today and just had to scout them out <laughs> and come get them. I will say I've had a really inspired spring with these dogwood flowers and these just basking in the sunlight in the early mornings. And I've also gotten a lot of like ethereal abstract macro shots as well that I've really been enjoying. But I have been missing those classic wildflower and dogwood shots that I got today and I was really excited to see those. So the first one didn't really work out. I mean, you got some good shots, but the challenge here is that there's an, actually an interstate on the other side of these dogwoods. So we decided to come over here. There's this tree, this dogwood tree over here that looks really good because it kind of just leans over from every other tree and it goes in a different direction. I'll walk over here so you guys can see it. But there's just this little outcrop of dogwood limbs that intersects with darker tree bark behind it and i think if i can zoom in on that and seclude it out if you can see this dogwood tree kind of behind me here if i can seclude that out from everything else i think it'll be a really good shot because it creates that light contrast texture contrast and also direction of flow contrast in there as well and uh, continue on and, and see what else we can get today I'm not a big believer in you have to have super dynamic light every single time you take a photo because I love this just flat light shot of dogwoods against this darker bark because they just stand out so well against that dark background. I'm pretty happy with the shots that I've gotten so far. Uh, I think, you know, one of the things that I really struggle with when I'm doing something like this is getting locked into one single composition. And I just had a really good idea. Like I'm focusing everything on the dogwoods themselves just right off the bat. And 
maybe it's a good idea to look through some dogwood blossoms and I'm just thinking off the cuff here because I'm seeing a lot of them and it's kind of difficult to frame up but if I can shoot through them and create that like hazy dreamy effect on the edges of the frame and the composition it might look really good especially with these difficult cluster of dogwood trees um I don't know It'd be interesting to try out, but it's always something to try whenever you are going out to a location and photographing something is always, you know, not getting locked into one single type of shot, but to look around and think about other solutions when you are trying to get um, kind of, I don't know, a quote unquote banger photo from the location or something like that. So let's give it a shot. It would be a disservice to you if I only showed you photographs that worked out. I wasn't happy with how these turned out just because the composition was very cluttered. I think the concept was cool, but I just couldn't get the composition that I wanted with these. So that shot was pretty cool. I like those kind of abstract, artsy kind of shots. It's not always easy though shooting something when somebody's constantly changing your camera settings, but it's all in good fun, I guess. Um, kind of is poking out a little bit, the sun is, and you know, maybe I can get something with some backlit shooting from underneath this canopy. But I think, again, the point is just getting out and shooting uh, and seeing what you can get, photographing for the fun of it, and, and trying to find just small little details that you can capture in a different way. These two photographs at the end are definitely my favorite of the day. They remind me of abstract high key photographs where you have a lot of white coming in and then using that white as a background really secludes the darker branches and I feel like it brings a lot of attention to the very fine color that occurs in dogwood blossoms too. Just thank you guys for coming on the adventure. I know we really enjoyed it and had a lot of fun and I'll probably just keep shooting until she decides she's done so i'll just see you guys later thanks so much again for watching be sure to subscribe and follow on instagram and ring the notification bell